Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to talk about how to open a bank account in Tanzania as a foreigner. Well, like I said in previous videos and so many videos, I'll be saying the same thing. Tanzania is actually a non-restrictive country when it comes to doing business. People think there's so many restrictions, they're not. It's very easy, as you're going to find out in this video on how easy it is to open a bank account as a foreigner in Tanzania. So let's get started with the video. So before we get started with the video, I would like to talk about Brand Genesis Agency. Brand Genesis Agency is our company. We can help you if you want to start a business in the East African area, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Malawi, Mozambique. We are here to help you. We can help you with company registration. We can help you with market research. We can help you with work permits, residential permits, and so many other things like require, like recruiting top talent to work for you, which is very hard. Let's get started with the video. To open a bank account in Tanzania as a foreigner, you need three or four things depending on on your situation the first thing you need is any proof of identity in that in this case as a foreigner you're going to use your passport passport must be an active passport that's all you need the second thing that you're going to need is your current proof of residency or your current address with this information you're going to need uh, one of the following things you're going to need maybe a lease, ag a lease agreement you have a lease agreement with your landlord then you can use that you don't have a lease agreement, you have a utility bill um, in the last 30 days, then you can use that. Do you have an affidavit with your landlord? You can ask your landlord with affidavit, I mean like he can vouch for you. Um, so that's it. All you need in this case is just things that are going to prove your residency. Now, depending on what bank you use, they might require more information, maybe they might require some proof of residency from the nearest local government in some cases it depends but you just need to have a proof of your residency in the address that you've said you are the third thing you need is your is proof of source of income you need to prove that you have an income to sustain that bank account as a foreigner it could be a pension it could be a business whatever that it is that you can use they'll actually give you a template in some bank accounts a template whereby you can list your source of income and proof maybe um, and I, I make this this amount of money from this pension I make this this amount from dividends from this from this company I make this this then that amount yeah so that's all you need that's the third thing that you need the fourth thing that you need which is optional is if maybe in some cases you want somebody else to be running this bank account for you you need to have documents that will, be, that will be stating that you're giving this person authority to transact on your behalf. So essentially it's like giving somebody power of attorney of your bank account. So that is the fourth step which is very optional and that's it. So other, I've skipped over some other minor details like they'll ask you for your passport size picture. Some banks will want it with a white background, some will want it with a blue background. So these are actually minor minor changes that will depend but those are the four main things that you need to have a bank account as a foreigner in Tanzania. I know it sounds very easy, but it is. Most people think that this, this, uh, these, uh, these steps are usually complicated. They're not. They're not complicated. It's that simple. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, you can watch another one by clicking the link here, or you can subscribe to our channel and be part of our family. And you can turn on the notification bell, or if you need help, you're studying a company in the East African area, company registration, market research, and so many other things. You can contact us through the contacts down below. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.